Here is a box of hybrid lures. Hybrid, what does that mean? Hybrid lures means that you're taking one type of a lure, whether it be plastic or a hard bait, and you're modifying it. And in this case, I'm taking uh, a grub and a different type of tail, uh, and then I'm fusing together with a, a candle flame. This is actually uh, a razor worm attached to a, a, a grub tail, which is the Triple Ripple by Bass Pro. And that's a totally different design than you'll ever see because of the way it goes through the water and the way it looks to a fish. This is out of control. You know how women uh, buy stuff on sale? Whether it be a bra <laughs> or something else? Well, I buy lures when they're on sale. Oh my. I run to the stores when I see these things for $1.50 a pack. And I've been doing this for the last 20 years, so it, this is, doesn't just happen. <laughs> He's got a whole wall of lures here. Got boxes of Cr stuff over here. Crankbaits, hard baits of all kinds. Boxes, boxes, spoons, boxes. spinner baits, every every kind of lure you can imagine. Oh, jeez, I can't even look in there. It's just, there's all sorts of uh, unspeakable things. I don't want to have a crazy. <laughs> Ooh, just about right. Yeah. <laughs> I keep pulling. So that's just plastic. That's uh, glitter. What mm -hmm. else is in there? A little bit of dye. A little bit of dye. And salt and you're just pouring it into a mold. An aluminum laser cut mold. And what's that a mold of? A Senko. A Senko. Four and quarter inch Senko. Uh, and we just separate the mold. Now we have those scissors right there that are on the table. Take out one of these and then we'll just cut off the top of it. Put your hand underneath it and catch that. There you go. Now we have a perfect one. Wow. It has a little bit of salt in it. It has a, has a softener so it's nice and flexible and chewy and it's durable. It will not come off the hook. You'll catch at least five fish of it unless of course it's a pickerel and then he'll slash it off. We're going to take a, an average french fry. I'll take a curly tail off of it also a lure that I don't use anymore, which is a Mr. Twister 3-inch grub. Taking this and putting it just like this. So in actuality, we have a, a little knobby body tail and a very textured uh, body at the front, plus this knobby head. So what we'll do is put them over the flame, so they catch a little bit, that's molten, and you just join. Hold it for a few seconds, that's it. Now you have a brand new bait. So these are plaster molds over here? These are plaster molds of either hybrids that I've made or blurs that I want to copy, like the Kalen mold. And what I'll do is I'll just put the, uh, I'll have the aluminum trays, mix up the plaster, put it in the aluminum tray, put the forms into the plaster itself, put some aluminum foil on top of the plaster, and then just pour another layer of plaster after they both set. And then you have your mold. So the four holes on the top on each one of these. 